Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham City 4-pack. Now I've already reviewed the Arkham Asylum 4-pack and that link will be on screen right now and also in the description below. So as you can see in this 4-pack we get Robin which actually was quite a hard to find figure of the original release of the Arkham City Robin so you have your chance of getting that guy right there. We have the Batman right there which isn't too different to the uh, Arkham Asylum one and is not the same as the Arkham City release but we'll get closer to that uh, in more depth in a second. We have Nightwing right there, slightly different colours and then Harley Quinn is the biggest change right there. This is the only place that you can get that specific version of Harley Quinn so that is actually from I believe it was called Harley Quinn's Revenge um, and that was the DLC add-on pack for Arkham City so this is the only place to get that actual design of her. There is a little bit of retooling to the regular Harley like the chain that hangs down on her side right there is a different length and whatnot but for the most part it's mainly just different colors but there is a little bit different in the mold as well. And we'll get into all of the accessories in a second when we take a look at the figures themselves. On the back here you can see that uh, Arkham Asylum pack right there. And then you can also see the Arkham Origins 4 pack there as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. And here's all of the figures out of the packaging. And overall it's a pretty good set. But honestly the quality control on my particular set is pretty bad to be honest with you. Uh, so first up let's go ahead and look at Robin. And as you can see... This guy is not holding the staff. Now, the original Robin did come with his staff. Now, the fact that he doesn't have his staff isn't really bad for me personally because I have the Arkham Knight Robin. So, there are actually a few accessories in that. And a smaller staff and an extended staff and then the shield staff thing as well. So, I can definitely go ahead and give one of those to this guy. That is no problem for me. But for you, it might be a major problem and even a deal breaker for him not to come with his staff, especially if Robin is like the main figure out of the set that you actually wanted this for because you couldn't get one when they originally came out. This guy actually got quite expensive. So quality control for me, like the hood being on one side for that, as you can see the hood's pointing that way, that's not really a problem. It might be like that on all of them. It looks kind of cool as if the wind's like blowing it and who wears a hood perfectly straight anyway. But for me, I do feel that my head is slightly slanted. I feel like it should be a little bit more that way uh, itself anyway. And also we just have some yellow showing there on the cape and then you have bits where the black comes off because of how it's packaged. It's just kind of annoying. The cape is a little bit flexible. Uh, the head can move left and right, not really much up and down or anything. The shoulders come out to the side and go all the way around, apart from being hindered by the cape. Rotation right there, single joint at the arm right there, and then a rotation at the wrist there as well. The legs go forward and back. We have a hinged knee and a rotation down there at the boot. And that is pretty much the same for all the figures, but I will go over it all uh, with them just so I can show you. And then Harley Quinn, so here she is next to the uh, other Harley Quinn from the other box set and uh, this one stands much taller because of the platform shoes right there and I do definitely uh, like the design of this figure a lot more from the first game but I even like the design of uh, Harley from uh, Arkham City, like her regular suit over this one right here but it is nice to have this I didn't actually have the DLC so it's pretty cool to have some form of this Harley it's definitely unique she is grieving of the death of Joker so you can see she's crying right there and that's done really really well however you can see some of the black has been smudged off the lips there that is not good we also have a tattoo on the arm right here which has little kind of black splodges on it which I don't think are supposed to be there so that kind of sucks as well. Uh, nicely painted harness though with the silver and everything in there on all the buckles uh, down here. The, the boots, I mean as you can see she does actually have flat feet down there so she does stand fine, that is very good but the boots look pretty cool. She does still have the knee in there as well. And the joint for this figure is right here at the top of the boot which is fantastic so you can get the rotation right there. But there's a lot of just white, like excess plastic that you can blow away. But I mean, it's just horrible. It's actually in there. This waist piece right here is actually uh, movable a little bit. It's kind of flexible and you can reveal a tattoo and then also her underwear there as well. You have the chain there on the side. Uh, the arms move out and all the way around. Rotation, single jointed elbow, rotation at the wrist. And then the head has a little better articulation but not much better. Uh, but yes, yeah, so as you can see articulation is the same so far as Robin. And she comes with this gun right here. And then now let's have a look at Scarface, the uh, the puppet right here. Uh, this did not come with Joker from the original four pack and it actually came with the original Joker figure. So I'm guessing the people complained that he didn't have this and so they put it into this one. 
And I'm pretty sure that in the second game, you can actually find Scarface looking like this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You've got the gap in the back there for the hand to fit in. The arms just rotate around. Again, you've got that kind of white, dusty plastic around the joints. Not very good quality. A rotation at the head and the legs just move forward and back. So you can have him sitting uh, in Joker's arms like so. Then here we have the Arkham City Batman, which again just really disappoints me. Now this guy right here actually used the Arkham City chest piece. Uh, the logo should actually be thinner on this guy and it also should have been actually molded on there. So obviously here we actually have the correct chest piece, here it was not correct. But other than that, this figure is really nice. You have the blue eyes right there. This one, it doesn't have that detail on the eyes, but it does look awesome nonetheless. Just those white eyes, that looks pretty cool. We get the little gel gun right here, the explosive gel. We get the uh, grapple gun slash shock charge slash whatever else he uses this for. And also we have a batarang that you can fold up as well. So a really nice amount of accessories. Yeah, and then we get to the disappointing bit. He's got two left arms. This is a left arm. That's his tricep, that's his bicep. The arm actually rotates that way. And there's nothing that I can do about it. It looks kind of okay on a shelf, but you look at it close up and it's just weird. So if you were thinking to yourself, I'm pretty sure that arm's wrong. Yep, you're right, it is. So the head, good articulation on a ball joint all the way around. So up and down, left and right and so on. Uh, the shoulder comes out to the side and moves around. And then we have a single joint right here, but there's no kind of rotation in there like the others. Uh, we do have a rotation down here at the front as well for the wrist slash forearm. Uh, then down here at the legs, forward and back, bend at the knee, and then rotation here at the boot. The cape is nice and flexible. Uh, there's no problems with this from getting out of package or anything. This isn't damaged at all. It's an absolutely fantastic looking figure. It just absolutely sucks that they've uh, given me the wrong arm right there. So quality control on my set, really, really bad. And now moving on to Nightwing. So the main difference between this figure and the original Nightwing figure that came out as part of the Arkham City line is just the blue colouring. Uh, it's much brighter than the uh, original suit and in the game it was actually accurate to that original figure, you know, the dark blue. Uh, but this looks more like the comic book star Nightwing and I love it so, so much more. However, he does not. He has like a little uh, circles, like sort of bolts or, or fastening pins or something all over the suit. They are not painted. Now my brother actually does have the uh, original Nightwing figure and they are painted on their silver. So this guy, although I like the blue better on this one, so it looks more like the comic book version rather than like the game version, uh, he does actually have less detailed paint apps on him, which does kind of suck a little bit. But we do have the black line work done all around this uh, in a nice sort of satin or gloss black. Uh, so it does stand out against that sort of matte suit right there and the detailing in the actual suit itself All the little lines are absolutely awesome We do get the buttons right here which fit in both of his arms and can be connected to the back right there uh, Articulation the head pretty much just moves left and right can't really get it to do anything else Shoulders come out to the side and go all the way around Rotation right there single joint at the elbow rotation at the wrist and then here we have uh, ball joints. So on this figure, the legs can actually come out to the side. This was like at the point when they started to actually add more articulation to the uh, seven inch DC collectibles figures, which is absolutely awesome. So they can come out to the side a little bit, go forward and back. And then we have the single jointed knee and rotation at the boot. Be careful with this. It does have those clear joints in there. So this was also the time when they had just started to get quality control problems with things breaking as well. So uh, gotta be careful with this one. Now I adore the Arkham games and I adore the Arkham figures from DC Collectibles and with every game that's come out, uh, the next year and the next year DC Collectibles have just gotten so much better in terms of their detail and their sculpts and their articulation and everything, so we're just getting better and better figures from them. And there's still some more Arkham Knight figures to be released. You know, this batch here, yes, the quality control has been really, really bad honestly on this particular box set, but you might not have that bad look. I mean, that's just what buying online gets you. But if you you can find them in a store definitely go ahead and check them out just make sure that for example you know harley's face paint is a bit better or batman doesn't have a wrong arm or something like that and you should be pretty good but i do definitely recommend that you pick the setup nonetheless so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like and if you want to see pictures of anything else from my collection check out my instagram it's homerino123 and the link is in the description below where you'll also find a link to the arkham asylum four pack like i mentioned earlier and if you want to see more dc collectibles reviews go ahead and subscribe so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time